doing i hope you guys are doing well thank you very much for stopping by if you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so it will really mean a lot to me so in this tutorial we'll be learning how to make this beautiful shirt collar all right let's get to the drafting table okay. so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to draft a shirt collar okay so you have to know that a shirt collar consists of the collar fall and the collar stand and that is what we are going to be learning in this video okay so the first thing you are going to do in order to draft a shirt collar you must have draft your shirt pattern okay so i've also made a tutorial on how to draft this kimono shirt pattern okay this is actually a kimono shirt pattern i have the front and the back here okay so yeah so the first thing you are going to do is to measure the neckline both the front and the back okay so i'm going to measure the neckline it's going to start from the from this point you are not measuring this seam allowance because when we are going to join it we must have joined the shoulder okay so we are going to measure from this point down to the overlapping point okay this is, the, this is where the overlapping line stopped you can see this line so you are going to measure the front neckline from this point to this overlapping line so what you are going to do basically is that you are going to fold this in you are going to fold the interfacing line and you are also going to fold in the facing line okay so it should be like this before you measure your neckline and i've measured this what i have is five inches so you are going to measure it like this and what i have here is five inches then you are also going to measure the back you are also going to start just after the half inch shoulder joining allowance and you are going to measure here it's what i have here is three inches okay so i write it down so after measuring the neckline of where you are putting this shirt collar the next thing you are going to do is to start the drafting okay so after measuring the neckline so i have the center front neckline as five inches and i have the center back neckline as three inches so what i'm going to do now is to come up by 1.5 inches from the edge of my paper like so i'm going to connect it so that will be the line where we are going to start our shirt collar drafting. So once I mark it, I'm going to look for the center of this line. Okay. So I have 7.5 as the center. So once you locate the center, the center is now going to be the shoulder seam. Okay. So let the right side be the center front and let the left side be the center back i hope you are understanding so at the center front side you are going to mark the five inches you measured and you name the the center front and at the center back side you are going to mark the three inches you measured and you're going to mark it the center back after marking in the center front and the center back measurements the next thing you are going to do is to come to this center front point and you are going to come up by one inch okay so once you come up by one inch you are going to square it up so once you square it up you are going to use the slight curve part of your ruler and you connect this point to this shoulder seam and everything goes to the center back just like what i'm doing So you are using the slight curve part of your ruler. So you can see how it is. So the next thing you are going to do is to come to this center back line. You are going to come up from this point. You are going to come up by 2.25. You are going to square it up like so so you write 2.25 then from that 2.25 we are just going to measure out 
1.25 so this 2.25 is actually serving as a guide so i measured out 1.25 from this 2.25 i marked then from this point i'm going to mark 1.25 so it should be in an horizontal manner okay you can see that that line is not straight again so once you mark it you are going to square it up and you are just going to connect it so you make sure that this line is parallel to whatever you are connecting here and this line is also parallel to whatever you are connecting here so that way i'm just going to come to the shoulder same line and mark 1.25 upwards this is so that it can be parallel to each other okay that's the reason so i'm just going to mark it like this and um, just going to connect it like this and also connect this like this i hope you are understanding it's very simple just listen very carefully pay attentive so the next thing i'm going to do is to come to this point and i will mark out one inch this one inch is actually the one inch of that overlapping line that we measure you can see our shirt here you can see this one inch that we marked if you notice some shirts you see you can notice that there are some that is how curvy it usually is so that's what we actually want to achieve here just map out that one inch for the overlapping that one inch that is for the overlapping line this is it map it and just we are just going to create that curvy effect you are normally you normally see on shirts okay so I'm just going to curve it like this and that is it once you curve it you are just going to clean off this line okay so after that you are going to connect with a broken line from this point to this point okay So after connecting with a broken line, whatever you have from this point to this point, you mark it upward. So here I have one inch. I'm going to mark one inch upward, like so. So once I mark it, I'm going to use the curved side of my ruler to connect it like so. So I'm going to connect this point to this point. So that's what I'm basically doing. So I hope you are getting it. If you don't get any one, just drop your comments, your question on the comment section. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do now is from this point, I'm going to mark the color for. This is actually our color stand. Okay. So this is actually our color stand. And so for the color for the width, the standard measurement for the width is two inch so you can mark more than that if you want but i'm just marking two inch i'm using the standard measurement so you mark two inch from this point to this point like so so once you mark it the next thing you are going to do is to mark how mark the length okay so the length, the standard measurement for the length is from 8.5 to 9 inches, but I'm just going to mark 8 inches, okay? So that's, all these half standard measurement does not mean that you can't adjust it, you can adjust to your taste, yeah. So once you mark it, you are going to connect from this point to this point, like so. And here we have our cola four. Okay, so if you want hair more pointy, you can decide to come out by half inch and you connect it back to this point. That's if you want it more pointy. Okay, and connect it like this. And so here we have our cola fall and our cola stand this is very simple all you have to do is to 
pay attentive okay so here should be on fold when cutting and here it should also be on fold so the next thing i'm going to do now is to get a fresh paper put under it and then, and then i will trace the color for i will add joining allowance all around i will also trace the color stand is the color stand and i will add joining allowance all around and i'll be back to show you guys what after tracing out this is what i have you can see i've added 0.5 inches seam allowance all around and at this point i didn't add because we won't be needing it because at this edge at this place is we are going to be cutting it on fold okay so we are going to be cutting these two pieces and you are going to be cutting these two pieces so when you are cutting make sure that here is on fold your fabric is on fold here so that by the time you open it by the time you open it it will be like this okay so you cut it on fold two piece each you also place your fabric on fold and cut two piece each so after that i'm going to be cutting and interfacing a color stay for one of this piece so i will do that and i will be back to show you guys what's next so guys you can see that i have cut this out to two piece okay so you make sure that here is on fold and you also make sure that here is on fold okay so i've cut out two pieces for each pattern okay and i've also gone ahead to iron the interfacing the color stay so i've also gone ahead to iron the interfacing on also one part of the color four and one part of the color stand okay so what i'm going to do make sure that before you remove this pattern you notch the upper part and you make sure that when removing this pattern you also notch the upper part so that you will know which is which okay while joining so you don't run the risk of taking the downside as the upside okay so i've removed the pattern pieces so so what i'm going to do is to go and sew it the upper part not the down part okay so you can see i I notified I write the upper part here and the down part so this upper part that is where I'm going to sew by half inch okay so I'll go and do that and I'll be back to show you guys what next so after sewing round like this you are going to notch it round and you are going to turn it out okay so once you turn it like this you are going to go to your pressing table and you give it a good press so after that you can also top stitch round okay just to hold it in place so i'll go ahead and do that and i'll be back to show you guys what next so guys after giving it a good press and top stitching round this is how beautiful our color fall is looking can you see that can you see how beautiful it's looking okay so the next thing i'm going to do make sure that um the place you ironed in interfacing is the right side is the main side okay so next thing i'm going to do is to get my color color stand okay so this is the color stand this is the color four so i'll get my color stand the one i iron interfacing i'll make sure i'll face it i'll face it right side facing each other okay so this is where i iron interfacing this is where i iron interfacing both of them are facing each other okay and this is the place that I didn't iron interfacing. So I will grab the other piece of the collar stand and I'm going to mash it up. So make sure you locate the center of the collar stand and the collar fold so that you can mash those points together like I'm doing, okay? So I will pin it up like you see. I will pin it up and I will go and sew it by half inch. And I will also sew it by half inch here. And I will sew it by half inch here. Then I'll be back to show you guys what next. So guys, I've gone to sew it around like I show you guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is to turn it out like this. So once I turn it out like this, you can see that our shirt collar has already taken shape. So all I'm going to do is just to go to my sewing machine and I will top stitch round. So I'm going to start after half inch because this is where i'm going to be joining to my neckline 
So I'm going to start after half inch, then I'll top stitch all the way here. So I'll go and do that. And yes, we have our collar, shirt collar. So I'll go and do that and I'll be back to show you guys. Guys, after top stitching round, this is how our beautiful shirt collar looks. You can see how beautiful it is. It's ready to be fixed on your top. Okay, so we've come to the end of this tutorial. So guys, if you've not subscribed to my channel at this point, please kindly consider doing so. Okay, if you have any question pertaining to this, you should always drop it on the comment section. I will respond to it. Alright guys, thank you for watching to the end. I will see you in the next one. Bye!